Hello and welcome back to No One Plays. Today we're playing the Cossacks expansion here for you four. Um, looks really great. Has a lot of new features including estates which I already took care of. Right here that they should have, you know, not too much influence. Because if they have over 80 influence then bad things will happen. Essentially a disaster will happen. And they will rebel. Other than that, I'm not sure how much the terror that they have actually changes. I guess as long as their expectation is met, their loyalty won't go down. And we gave them a little bit much territory. Which would be fine. Because we have loyalty level at 63% now and I'm expecting to get new territory fairly soon here. There's also another new thing I'm getting right into, which is the achievement browser. So you can see every single achievement that we can possibly do. Now that's a lot more than I want to do, of course, because, I mean, there's some that you can theoretically do, but we're never going to be a parliament because we're we're not going to change away from being a horde. Um, yeah. We might do... Nah, it's a colony. Damn it. She was as a vassal. Hmm. My main focus here is from racks to riches. So we can have um, provinces of up to 10 development and anything over that is bad. So I already had to give up one core. Mongolia starts out with a core on Hohot and we had to give up the core. So we can raise it later because if we don't have a if you have a core on it, we can't raise it. That would be bad since I do want to do that achievement. The achievement being that we have the highest income. Either way, the standard way of playing still applies. So Uzbek, come on and help me, buddy. Jagatai. Yeah, you too. You too. further by letting our army come to low end. Also we are Tangri, which means we actually have syncretic fates. Which eventually will certainly change away. For right now it's not bad. So essentially you you get the ability to change out whatever um, bonuses you get in here, which are more likely than not just some sort of a weaker version of other bonuses. Try religion. And usually has something to do with a horde. I mean, horde unity is nice. Still going down, because it's always going down. So we need to really, really get rid of our overlord, otherwise our horde is going to fall apart over long or short. Yeah, we wouldn't want to have all too low horde unity. Do give me those extra three calf units. After all, we'll have to fight this behemoth eventually. Oh, and we can of course also manage attitudes towards them. Okay, well we want to be friendly to him. And also be friendly towards Jagatai. Wait, did I just set the one to Jagatai? Oh, never mind. There, Uzbek's friendly. Provinces of interest. We 
afternoon. Oh, crap. Okay, we have to change our promises of interest. Otherwise, the Uzbeks will not love us, and that would be awful. We will still take the land and fuck over the Uzbeks, but first, just first, we need to break free. to do spec so soon why Ooh, my liberties there is actually pretty high come on buddy support my independence We might be able to turn this into our to our favor if you get enough liberty desire. Nearly a hundred. Access, sure. Now we can declare war. Mm, how dare they? Okay, well, Corton doesn't have much of an army anymore either. So, goodbye, stability. At least it doesn't affect any of our other stability things. Ooh, this is new. All new and shows more stuff like potential disasters are right up here prominently displayed. Very nice. Definitely up stability. <laughs> oh, Ming, you silly goose. And. Ooh, not bad. your general damn it stupid slow transit ah, damn it. no I can't see it no I can't see the general battle will occur so wonderful little indicators now oh huh. that's just so wonderful Battle will occur again. And we'll have to go ahead and take some land over there as well. And then raise it to ground. Oh my god. And Twitch chat asks, is it on Steam? Yes. The wonderful DLC is out. They usually release it around 3 o'clock and they were very punctual this time around. With everything. Sadly, we only have the regular unit models, which is kind of sucky. Okay, let's at least get some of the land seated for us. I wish we could ally him. But we have negative thousand. At least we're not at war. That's good. Get ourselves some money. Can't believe that we're still making money right now. Oh, holy crap, our force limit is so huge. I love it. 
Loot, my minions. Loot. Loot everything. So these bronzes of interest seem to be kind of insane when it comes to hordes. Like Jagatai is interested in all of this. Uzbek interested in all of this. So horde alliances seem to be very, very jeopardized. I guess they can be alliances. They can have alliances despite wanting the same stuff. What is the benefit of having a province of interest? Doesn't tell you. Except that it gives diplomatic feedback, but otherwise it doesn't tell you at all. And holy shit, look at how much information is revealed about the nation in total. Our score information. Servantism information. All the cool new stuff. No, oh, Korchin seems to be fighting back against Periadia. Ooh. Ouch. 20 years of influence. I don't think it will push them above. No, it's okay. They're not on a dangerous level of influence yet, I don't think at least. Come on, he's back. You can do it. Yeah, crush him. Oh, how wonderful. Independence guaranteed. Oh shit. It's going to be faster. Damn you! Damn you, Jagatai, you bastard! So take some land. Oh, there we go. On to the capital we go. <laughs> and the Uzbeks just pieced out for a huge amount of land. Wonderful. Huh. I wonder if they start with this land core now, if they just were very, very quick about it. Thank you. Thank you, Buryadia. Maybe I should be friends with you. Get some help against these tribes. On the other hand, I would much rather just control the land. So yeah, we got our core back. Without having had to do anything. Because we do have the problem of Ming breathing breathing down our neck, so we may want to deal with them in the near future rather than later. I 
must say it was fairly expensive for me. It was like 27 bucks to like get the unit pack plus the expansion. So it's not cheap. On the other hand, they also added a lot. And we're playing with Random New World. So somewhere in here is a Random New World that may or may not spawn like high-tech natives or something like that. So I'll be interested to see what comes up out there. I might even go colonizing. A battle will occur. Let's see if we can march in there as well. Never mind. I do wanna see if you can get rid of Corchin's influence in here. But of course I would also love to just loot the shit out of the land. So yeah, I also figured out how much development does. So development does Essentially, if you develop, divide development by 20, that's how much hoarding the, you lose a year. So at like a thousand development, you would auction it by 20. By 200, sorry, yeah. If you would have a thousand development, you would lose essentially five hoarding the a year. Which for a thousand development nation should probably be able uh, should probably be able to regain that much horde unity. Also wonder is there any ideas to that horde unity? Um where's the legitimacy ideas again? <laughs> I thought there was something that adds legitimacy. Oh well, that's something to figure out for the future when we were actually big enough to worry about Horde Unity. For now, we really don't have to. I mean, this war is going to be over fairly soon. Oh, finished already. I bet that they're going to give that land to me because there's absolutely no way that they can core it. I will also not be demanding any land because I say so. Mm -mm -mm. Mongolia quick start. Improve relations some more. So improving relations now goes both ways. So by improving our relations of them we improve relations both ways, which is great for me, I think. Uh, also, we're probably going to leave a little gap between us and the Uzbek. To see if we cannot lull them into a sense of security. Well, I do kind of want to go... West. I do not really want to head into the use packs right now. There's still too much land over here to take under my wing. So the plan in this campaign is to literally ravage everything around us. We need to have the highest income in the world while having no province that has more than 10 development. There might be an easy way to do it with it, which is just releasing the land that has too much. Like once you're big, just release all the land that has too much um, development. Then you should be fine. But I want to do it the way of the Horde. Ok, 
Okay, Jagatai loves us now. They may not love us forever, though. Oh, no, 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 I will not remain a subject. Grant independence for sure. Hmm. I want all the land. I want all of it. I mainly want this province here. Holy crap, that would be great. <laughs> oh, so much land. Beautiful. The overextension will not be a problem, I say. Because we'll raise everything. I like it. Oh, let's piece them out. Yes, I know, the aggressive expansion is a bit huge. At 42 in the max, we also pay a few too many points, but that's okay. It's an independence war, but I would rather start as a strong nation in the world. Okay. I'm just going to try to keep it up here. Now. Start to race provinces to the ground. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Skulls, skulls everywhere. Oh, fuck that province. Alright. Glee. No, whoops. Development is too low. Too bad. Part of the reason why I'm raising is. Yes, it makes the provinces weaker for the future, but. What you have to see is that. They're not mine yet. They will only be mine once I have it cored. And raising helps coring quite a bit. So how the fuck did I suffer that much? War exhaustion. There we go. More war exhaustion. I believe that was everything that I could raise. So I don't really care that I'm destroying some of their development. After all, I will have to core less development. So the only downside is that you take... You can take... This way you take less development per aggressive expansion. That's the downside to raising. It's not really making your nation any weaker because... Who cares that you have to traverse more land with a smaller army? It also means that you have less land that actually matters. Record this stuff. So we have enough points. There we go. Now I think that's a successful end to the first episode. Goodbye, fundamentalists. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time with some more Mongol action. Of a huge amount of unrest down here. Yep, I hope you guys have enjoyed.